Hi, it's Chris here from the EQ Mod Project. In this video tutorial, I'm going to look at uh, periodic error correction and how to load a, a pet curve. Okay, uh, e one of the benefits that EQ ASCOM has is that it can provide periodic error correction. And the way that works is a correction file is, is, is generated using some other tools, um, which we'll cover in a, in a different video tutorial. Uh, but it's stored on your, your, your hard disk, and then you can load that into EQ ASCOM. Um, and once loaded, EQ ASCOM will then automatically load it in, in future, if, if that's what you want. Um, and it will automatically play back this, this pet curve to provide uh, tracking rate corrections uh, to your right ascension uh, axis. The way to enable PEC is, is first of all um, to load the file. So if we click on this button here, I've got one already prepared. If I cycle through to the PEC display, um, you'll see here is the correction curve that I've loaded. Now, what we're seeing at the moment is a cursor that's moving through, and this is showing where our mount actually is on this um, PEC correction curve, or PEC curve, I should say. Now, this can be useful whether or not you're going to actually apply the correction just to see where you are on a curve um, could be quite useful. For instance, if, if I was doing uh, guiding calibration, uh, even if I had no intention of using PEC, it would be a good idea to perform the calibration when the mount is on one of the flatter parts of its curve, so either at the top or at the bottom. When it's moving through these uh, areas here, it's, it's moving at the the right ascension axis is moving at its, its its fastest rate, and that could affect your guiding calibration. So, irrespective of whether you actually want to use the correction aspect of of, of, of this feature, it can be quite useful to know where your mount is um, in its periodic error cycle. Okay. Now, as you can see, when I loaded the, uh, the, the PEC curve, immediately it said apply PEC, and the tracking rate has changed to side reel plus PEC. At the moment, no corrections are actually being applied, and you can tell that because this value here that says PEC says 0 0.000, and that's because the gain is at 0. Um, if we apply a gain of 1, which is basically means uh, whatever the curve is telling EQ ASCOM to do, that's what EQ ASCOM will do. Um, you'll see you start getting numbers in here, and th these are the uh, adjustments that are made to sidereal rate. And as we can see at the moment, there it's a pretty constant value, but it, it, it'll change, and when it gets onto this side, these will become negative adjustments, but that's going to take some four minutes to, to happen. So. Uh, we won't um, wait for that. The idea of the gain is you may find, you may suspect that the correction is either too strong or, or too weak. Um, so it gives you some scope to, to, to manually adjust it. And I say, if, if you want to turn off the pack altogether, you can either remove the thing that says apply pack. or you can take the gain down to zero. In normal cases, I would expect a, 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 the, the gain to be set to times one. The other control we've got here is the ability, ability to apply a phase shift. Um, so it's basically, if, instead of being at this point on the curve, we say, well, I actually think we're, we're, we're up here. Um, and you can phase shift the playback, as you can see. Um, 
by any amount you like. Um, you can then save that uh, and it will change your original PEC file uh, so it'll be corrected next time you, you, you load it. Now this isn't easy to do. Um, to guess, to, to actually notice that your, your PEC curve is, is out of synchronization and to correct it using the phase shift um, is a bit of a specialized activity and, and probably it ought to be relegated to an, an advanced function. Um, I wouldn't advise you to, to play with this. You shouldn't need to. Um, so long as your PEC file has maintained its own synchronization uh, and that will occur if you park the mount um, when you finish using it and unpark it. So long as you do those, those parking operations the PEC curve should maintain its synchronization. If you think it has lost synchronization, it's probably easier to re-record a new pet curve than it is to play about with these things and, 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 and get it right, in all honesty. Okay, uh, if you want to remove pack at any point, you can simply hit the uh, delete button. Uh, the other thing we should probably say is that there's a button on here that says timestamp. Um, that is really only used when you're recording PEC. Uh, I mean, if you're recording it with uh, a third-party application like PHD or uh, MetaGuide or, 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 or those sort of guiding applications, um, we have to use the timestamp button to ensure synchronization uh, of, of the data with the motors. Okay, that concludes this uh, demonstration.